I just want to show you one more thing about graphing in a spreadsheet, which is a common problem that you're pretty much certain to come upon. And it looks a little puzzling at first, but it's easy to deal with. So I've made some columns here. I've made a column of x and a column of all the values of x squared and a column of all the values of x cubed, except notice that down here there is a cell that's missing. Okay, um, now this is actually something you're going to run into in the labs because when you generate velocity data from position data, you always end up with one fewer points of velocity data than the position data. Uh, if it's not clear to you why that's so, don't worry about it. You'll see in the coming weeks. Anyway, there's a particular difficulty that comes up when we try to plot this column versus this column. So let's have a look at it. First of all, I'm going to do a graph that's going to work just the way we've seen. I'm going to plot x squared versus x. So I'm just going to select these two rows and I'm going to insert a chart. And you see everything seems to be working correctly. I'm not going to finish putting this in. I'm just going to cancel it. Okay, now let's look at what happens when I try to plot column C against column A. So this is x cubed versus x. Hopefully you see that something's wrong. I'm going to finish this one. And let's have a look at it. And first of all, note how I know something is wrong. One way is that if I know I'm plotting x cubed, this doesn't look like x cubed. But second of all, just look at my x column. The highest value is 3, but the highest value on this axis here is above 60. So something's clearly gone wrong. And it's that the spreadsheet is confused. Having one fewer uh, cell here in column C than in column A has messed it up. Uh, and so what it's actually done is it's put all the x's here and it's put all the x cubeds here and it's just made an axis that's basically a count of the data points that it's got. So let's remove that and just see how to fix it. So it's confused by having one more data point in this column than this column, so we just have to hold its hand a little more. Instead of selecting the two columns the way I've been tending to do, I'm just going to be more careful. I'm going to select just the piece of column A that I need and just the piece of column C that I need so that I have the same number of data points uh, in each column. And now I'll try again. And hopefully you can see that that's now working. Okay, and that's all you need to do. So like I say, you will hit this issue in later labs because when you produce velocity data, you end up with one uh, fewer uh, entries in the column. Don't worry about why that is, you'll understand later, but just be on the lookout for this as you go forward in your labs.